In this second video on presentation skills, we're going to talk about language. Now, I'm a linguist, and so I love looking at language. And so for this course, I thought I would give you some helpful tips to help improve your language of your future presentations. I would say one of the most important language points that you could incorporate into your presentations are what we call in language or in linguistics signposting. Now, if you've attended any presentation course in the past or if you've attended a course online for presentation skills, chances are they're going to be talking about signposting. What do I mean by signposting? Signposting is language or specific phrases that help your audience know where you are in your presentation. For example, first, second, third. Sometimes it's something very simple such as that. Another example is, let's move on to the next point, or let's move on to my third and final point. And of course, the phrase that everyone loves to hear, in conclusion, because that's when we are going to be paying extra careful attention to your results. Now, thankfully for this MOOC, we are going to offer you plenty of takeaways, of course, as we promised. And one of the takeaways for this MOOC is a list of language or phrases that you could possibly incorporate into your scientific presentations if you wish. Now let's talk about another phrase that I hear very often during scientific presentations. And those two phrases are, this is very basic and this is quite easy to understand. Now in front of your peers, this may be an appropriate phrase to use because let's be honest, sometimes it's necessary to run quickly through the basics or one run quickly through a basic uh, model or basic idea. Sure, in front of your peers, that's fine. However, if you're addressing the general public, this phrase, this is very basic, or this is quite easy to understand, might be misinterpreted. When I hear that phrase as a member of the general public, sometimes my reaction is, uh, sorry, <laughs> it's not. <laughs> so be careful with the phrase, this is very basic and this is quite easy to understand because depending on your audience, that may or may not be the case. As Cecile mentioned in week one, she suggested avoiding jargon. But there is a phrase that I noticed that a lot of researchers love to use whenever they use a technical word, and that is the phrase, in other words. Now, whenever I hear the phrase, in other words, I get a little bit tense <laughs> because I'm bracing myself from one highly technical explanation to possibly another highly technical uh, reformulation. So if you're addressing the general public and you like to use this phrase in other words, be sure that the explanation that follows is crystal clear. Of course, reformulation is perfectly acceptable in the sciences, but just remember in a general public setting, in other words, needs to follow a very, very clear example or clear explanation. Another phrase that I very much appreciate and that I like as a member of the audience is, this is very interesting because. This is a very valuable phrase to use because in the middle of your presentation, you will capture our attention. And it's in the middle of your presentation that we generally are paying a little bit less attention. Let's be honest. And so if you pepper your presentation with, this is very interesting because it proves that, or it means that, then we will share your enthusiasm for those results or those findings. And finally, my last piece of advice is about reading. Now, just in the previous video, 
I'm going to be a little bit flexible with some of you. Most presentation courses will tell you, do not read your presentation, and they will be very adamant about that. And yes, I do agree in a face-to-face -face situation, in a face-to-face -face conference situation or event, speaking in front of the public, oh, yeah, you should definitely not read a text. Otherwise, we can just pick up your article and read it ourselves. So please do us a favor, don't read your text. However, for new presenters or new speakers in the sciences or in any field, I often am a little bit more flexible and I tell them, look, in an online conference situation, you can sometimes get away with using a little bit of text. We won't see it. We won't see your notes. We will only see your face. We're going to talk about online presentations a bit more later this week. And so you can kind of afford to have a little bit of text in front of you if you want and if you feel more comfortable doing that. But just be careful. If you use a full text and if you've prepared your presentation in full, I guarantee it, if your native language is not English, then your pronunciation will suffer. I've seen it day in and day out. So do us a favor, don't read your presentations when you're in front of an audience, face to face, but online you can afford a little bit of flexibility. Mm -hmm.